again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. All right, so happy almost Easter. It's Easter weekend uh, this week, and I wanted to do a fun spring painting that would be great for Easter or Easter parties, um, but also just good for spring or really any time of year. And I've just been really inspired by all the gorgeous butterflies that I've seen around lately. So we're gonna do a really fun rainbow butterfly painting today and incorporate a little bit of splatter painting, which is gonna be really, really fun. So we're going to be using three brushes for this painting. So I have a large square brush, my medium sized pointed brush, and then a small detail brush. Don't need to go too small today, just those three sizes. I'm going to get those in my water cup off the side of the screen. Um, the colors that I have for the background step, I have just a little bit of yellow and red, some gorgeous ultramarine blue and phthalo green, and a fair amount of white. To see a full materials list for everything that you need to paint along, go ahead and check the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and jump right on in. So we're just doing the background step right now. I'm gonna grab my medium sized brush for this one. And I'm gonna start right in the center here with a gorgeous light orange. So it's gonna be mostly yellow. I'm gonna take it over here, grab a little bit of red just a tiny bit so we're going to create a gorgeous sunny sunburst orange and then you can put this wherever you'd like your kind of sunburst to be i think i'm going to kind of do a little off center here right in the middle i'm going to go every which way all around the center pulling the paint out in every direction. All right. Looking good. And then I'm just going to rinse my brush and grab some yellow and white together. We're gonna to go right around that first initial yellow orange now with this light yellow. Very pretty. Little bit of water always in that paint helps it go nice and smooth, remember. And we want it to soak into that canvas texture. Okay, looking good. I think let's go ahead and upgrade to our big brush now for these bigger areas. I'm gonna take that out just a little bit further, like so. and. Remember, you can use this big brush like as a square, or you can use it like skinny, like that, by just kind of switching it around. All right, that's looking perfect. Rinsing my brush here. And now I'm going to bring it out to a little bit of a light green. So I'm gonna take my gorgeous phalo over here and pull some yellow in. And since we're doing a springtime painting, I'm liking the pastels. So I'm gonna pull a little bit of my gorgeous white in there too for this beautiful grass green. And I'm going to go all the way around that yellow, just like so. We wanna blend them together a little bit. And this is kind of a play. So we're using our two brushes here to fill in the background. We're getting slightly different textures with those brushes. But ultimately it's whatever you feel comfortable with. So you can bring your medium sized brush back in if that helps you blend here, whatever you prefer. Rinsing my brush now for my final color in this gradation, which is going to be a gorgeous blue. I'm going to pull a little bit of green in there and some white since we're doing that pretty pastel. A little bit more green. 
I want a beautiful sort of turquoise blue. I'm gonna pull that here from the outside in, getting a little kind of tie-dye looking. Sort of the inspiration with the background here. I just love rainbow colors. And I wanted to do something sort of loose and abstract this week. All right, just pulling that in. And I sort of like that look of not being super blended. So you can kind of just see these little brush strokes kind of pulling into the color. The more you go over it, the more blended it's going to end up. Okay, look at that, look very fun. A little bit maybe from over there. So pretty. All right, now I'm gonna do a little bit of sort of a fun splatter with some dark colors real quick before we let this layer dry. So how fun was it to do that gradation, but now we're gonna get even a little bit more abstract. So I have my dark blue here and I'm just watering it down a little bit with some extra water, my medium sized brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go into the corners here with this dark blue, creating some great splatters. Very fun. Okay. Beautiful. Gonna do the same thing with some green. Gonna add a little bit of white in there though because it is a very dark color. Getting messy today. Kind of a medium green. Lots of water added in for those good splatters. Beautiful. All right. Just kind of whacking it on this top finger here. Okay, nice, Getting some good colors there. I'm gonna grab some red <laughs> as well for my final little splatter here. I think I'll pull a little bit of orange in there too, just for some vibrancy. And a little bit of red splatter just for color. You can add any other color that you like. And we are going to let this layer dry. Decided to add a little bit more blue. Okay. <laughs> and splatter to your heart's content. And once you feel happy, we'll go ahead and step away, let this layer dry, and I will see everyone in a few minutes with our gorgeous butterfly. See you in a few. Okay, welcome back artists. We have a completely dry background and fresh colors on this piece of palette paper here. So I have a little bit more of my gorgeous phthalo green, some red, some more ultramarine blue, and then some black and white. I rinsed my brushes and got fresh water at break as well. All right, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my smallest brush first. We're going to sort of block out the shape of our beautiful butterfly as our first step here on the foreground. So I'm gonna do that by starting at the sort of corner here at the top of each wing. I'm going to come out in the same arc. So, and to the other side, 
And then I'm going to go one, two, three, and swoop in. One, two, three. Did I do it? Yeah. And swoop in. And always starting smaller so that I can adjust a little bit bigger as need be. And bring that all out just a little bit more, about like so. Okay. I'm going to keep the outermost sketch lines. Okay, and then down here I'm going to have one and two. One and two. Beautiful. Just like so. A little bit wonky here. Bring that out just a little bit. Bring that in like so. All right. I'm going to grab my medium-sized brush here, and I'm going to fill in all of these wings first with white. So we have this nice splatter background which has some dark colors. So I want to do white so that it's nice and opaque for this layer. I'm going to be doing sort of pastel colors too, so the white won't hurt anything at all. Okay. today's painting I'm working fairly quickly because I want this to have still sort of an abstract feel honestly abstract painting is sort of a stretch for me I always end up getting kind of too pulled in and things end up always looking a little bit illustratory and colorful <laughs> because I'm in a default mode which is why I like to do things like splatter painting sort of force me to go outside of that. Like so. All right. Really pretty colors on that background. Definitely feeling the tie-dye vibe. Right, there we go. Nice and filled in. I think I need a little bit more white. Okay, there we go. And now I'm gonna start bringing in some colors into these wings. So on the bottom part here, I'm gonna start with a gorgeous red. Might sneak a little bit of white in there. And these are going to be sort of abstract brush strokes. They're going to blend, of course, a little bit with the white. So you might want to go a little bit darker to start. I'm going to go just here at the bottom. Each brush stroke, you want to be mindful that it goes sort of in the direction of the wing. We're just going to start pulling those beautiful soft colors. I'm going to pull a little bit of blue now into my pink to make a purple. I think a little bit of white as well. There we go. Until we get just the right hue. Very pretty, and then I'm just adding that purple right into the pink, and I'm not over mixing. Very pretty. Okay. Just like so. 
can come in with a little bit of a darker color if you'd like as well. So I'm just kind of sneaking a little bit more blue into my purple. Okay, and I don't want to over blend. Very important. Okay, I'm going to move up into the top part of my butterfly now with a gorgeous blue. Just bringing those brush strokes out from the center. Like so from either side. Bringing that wing in front. And it's kind of fun, you just get to be sort of abstract with this. Like so, just kind of throwing some gorgeous colors in there. And then I'm going to go into the purple here as well for the outside here of the wings. Very pretty. Trying to stay a little abstract. Not quite as controlled as usual. But very fun. <laughs> Gonna grab my smallest brush now. It's looking pretty. Okay, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of the most vibrant red. Just sort of clean up the outside edges a tiny bit so that I don't see any white. And then I'm going to add some very delicate little splatters with a gorgeous light pink. So we have all of the colors of the rainbow now with our beautiful little delicate splatters that are gonna be slightly smaller, of course, than the splatters with our larger brush from before, pulling in sort of these light colors now. Mm-hmm, lovely. Do the same thing with blue. This is a messy one. The messy ones are the most fun. I filmed these videos with my phone and I <laughs> checked somehow. Yeah, because it's facing up. Like the face of the camera is up <laughs> the, the case of the phone is pointing down, so now I have splatters all over the case of my phone, but it looks awesome. Looks like a hand splattered case. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to clean it. Okay, just a little bit, and I think a really light, just sort of off-white blue would be gorgeous as well. You can let your creativity soar. <laughs> nice. All of those different colors. Very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of a green accent in the butterfly as well, just a few little brush strokes right here at the base of the wing. Okay, very pretty. And now we just need to add the body of the butterfly with some black. And I'm going to do pretty small body, pretty thin and then kind of press my brush down a little bit. 
you'll have a bigger head, just like so. About as long as the wings are. But this is a fantasy of butterfly anyway, so. <laughs> And then two little delicate swirls for the antenna. So I'm swooping in and then out, up and around. Very thin lines there, thinner the better. Just that little graceful bug shape. Super cute. All right, final little touch here going to grab some blue. I'm going to do a quick little kind of squiggle here on the outside and a few little darker shadows like so. Maybe even sneak a tiny bit of black in for a little bit more shadow in the wings but that is looking pretty cute to me okay touch here and there of a darker color you can put any other final touches that you'd like on your painting but that is all the instruction that i have for everyone this week so let me know what you thought of today's painting in the comment section below if you painted along today, I'd love to see your work and I've created a Facebook group called the Art Club that's specifically designed for my students to share their work. Go ahead and check the description box below for a link to join. I'd also like to announce that I am now offering private Zoom parties if you need a little one-on-one -on -one instruction from yours truly for your next painting event. And on June 18th, I'll be hosting a free webinar on Zoom on how to start a from home arts and crafts business. More information about both of these new offerings below. All right, and that is all the instruction that I have for everyone for this week's painting. Let me know what you thought of it below. Love to see you over in the art club. And until next time, stay creative. Thank you.